my all-star jerseys. Uh, my collection starts with the um, first Memorial game and continues to the three Memorial games that were played prior to the NHL determining they wanted to do a real all-star game. So there's the um, Ace Bailey, the Howie Marins, and the Babe Siebert. And then in 1947, the NHL decided they would do an all-star game where the Stanley Cup winning team would play against all of the all-stars. And that's the first jersey. It's an Edgar LaPrade, uh, 1947. And then 48, my 48 jersey is Frank Grimzik. And then the NHL made it nice and easy for us to know what year it was because they started putting the year of the uh, All-Star Game on the crest. So that's my 49, which is the Sid Abel, and my 50, which is the Doug Bentley. After 1950, the NHL decided to use malt jerseys over multiple years. So they would take them all back from the players, use them the next year. And that's where my collection sort of stops and gets very, very confusing because if you would have a, at times you'd have a number four, would it be Jean Beliveau, would it be Moose Vasco? So I really stopped collecting until uh, it started out where the, um, the teams then started doing different jerseys for different years. So if we come around here, this is probably the most, the two most famous jerseys I have. This is the uh, 1980, it was played at the Joe Louis Arena. That is Wayne Gretzky's first All-Star game. So when he played for one conference and around behind it is Gordy Howe's last All-Star game from the same year. Gordie Howe from, from 1980 All-Star Game playing opposite Wayne Gretzky. The significance is Howe's last was Gretzky's first in the NHL. They did play together on the WHA All-Star Team. And then after that, I got one jersey that represented all the different years of the new and Yager, Street in there, and others. Um, many of the early jerseys were acquired through classic auctions. Um, and um, I found my experience over the past I, probably 12 to 14 years with classic, almost since they, they started doing auctions, uh, extremely good one. The, the materials there are good. Um, only thing I don't like is having to stay up so late at night, but uh, I finally found someone who does the bidding for me and I give him the next day off, so he's up early in the morning because of your five minute rule, but yeah, it's fair to everybody and, and uh, I just find that uh, Mark is, uh, is able to source just the best memorabilia in the business and uh, I look forward to his auctions twice a year and I can hope to be able to participate for a long time to come, and maybe one day. Classic auctions will be auctioning off my collection.